Welcome to Not A Roofer's Podcast, where we discuss roofing without all the jargon. I'm Brianna. And I'm Charity. And this is today's episode. Hello, and welcome back to Not A Roofer's Podcast. And today we will be discussing the five-point inspection. So, unlike some of our other topics, um, as you guys may know, I love my definitions, but the five-point inspection doesn't actually have a formal definition, Um, mostly because it is something that is only offered by Roof Medics, and no one has come up with a comprehensive definition for it. So, I guess if we were going to come up with a a general definition, just on a basis of a five-point inspection, it's a in-depth analysis of five aspects of whatever someone is looking at. Well, and we can do it more specifically to like our five-point inspection. Well, we should do that. We should do that at the end. Okay. We'll start with the the general and then we'll come up with ours at the end. Um, So everywhere, everywhere, our social media, our website, like everywhere um the five point inspection is put out there is like we offer this five five free point inspection call us for a five free point inspection and honestly like what why and what is the five point inspection good for well it's good to let you know the health of your roof in five very specific um items that we look at Areas of of roofing terms, <laughs> technically. Okay. So, um, the five point inspection. We have a couple things out there on it. So I know that there is a blog post. There is a YouTube video about the five point inspection. Those will be linked below if you'd like to look at those. Um, but what the five point inspection makes sure that our technicians look at is flashings, membrane condition drains, gutters, and scuppers. And those flashings specifically are wall flashings, um, metal flashings, and pipe flashings, which we will get into flashings in another episode. Because more in depth. a lot of them. Because, yeah, there are a lot, and they all look at very different things. Um, so, yeah, that. I mean, generally, a five-point inspection is just looking at all of those areas of the roof. How often should we get a five-point inspection done? So, yeah. So, there are two things. One, if you have a roof on a building um, and you haven't had anyone look at that roof in a while, or say you, you got a roof done, like redone, not too long ago, I would say if you, like, if you can't remember, it's time for a five-point inspection. And then from there... Um, having a tech quote unquote five point inspection happen either twice a year or even just yearly um, falls under the category of maintenance, which we will get into maintenance in a future episode to talk on that more in depth because it is a little bit different. But really, having your roof inspected once a year is a good place to start. It's similar to a yearly dental checkup or a yearly physical or even like I have to change the oil in my car more than once a year usually but even just like an oil change for your car um at least where I have my oil oil change they'll do a general checkup on my car at that point in time so it's like the five-point inspection is very similar to that of just hey, here, we're going to look at these parts. We're going to let you know how they're doing, what you can do, if there's anything that we recommend. And you get this detailed report. Um, we have a an, we have an example of that on our website. I can also link that below if you want to check it out. It is super in-depth. It gives you options. It tells you cost um, or expected cost. And just everything you would need to know to make an educated decision about what to do with your roof. So with your five-point inspections, you don't just, this is what it's going to cost and this is what you have to get done. Like, I get options. I get multiple options of what I can do. Yeah. 
this is really funny because this is turning into like a you know nothing and I know everything kind of thing, <laughs> well, which is really weird. This one, you know more than me. This is true. I've been on a couple of riffs now where we've I've either been videoing or just with as a five point inspection is happening, so I do know a little bit. But I only email them out. I don't. I don't really know what they're about. I yeah. So generally, the one of the the goals. Roof Medic has is to give business owners options when it comes to their roof. And I, I wrote a blog post on this not too long ago of the reason behind that. And ultimately what happened is the owner of Roof Medics was a building owner once upon a time. And it came from a position where the roof of the building needed to be replaced and it's expensive. Like, I'm not going to lie, some of the numbers that I've heard thrown out to replace some of these commercial building roofs are just insane. So when when the owner owned this building, it got to a point where it was, you know what, I know what it costs to put a new roof on this building, but what can I do to just get it dry? What is like the bare minimum, least expensive, that'll still be good quality? Um, And that is how Roof Medics is kind of born was from the moment of like, hey, if I'm having this problem financially of not being able to afford a new roof, you know, can I offer that service to business owners in the future to help them? Because again, new roofs are expensive. Running a business is expensive. I do not know if I'd ever want to run a business. Um, But yeah, so it it all came down to what options can I give? So yeah, Riff Medics will give the options of, you know, this is bare minimum, we can try this. And it comes with the disclaimer of this might not work, but as a company, it's a, okay, if this doesn't work, then we can do this. And then we can do this. And then we can do this until something works. So, you know, it is common to have a five-point inspection be done and be given two, three, four, different options of what you can do. That is amazing. Yeah, I play actually, I'm going to find it. Um, I was looking at our reviews on Google, which if you are listening and you've ever used Roof Medics, we would greatly appreciate a review. Um, First on the podcast, please, please leave reviews on the podcast because that will help just our podcast get to more people. Um, But also if you've ever used Roof Medics as a business itself, um, you know, go leave a review on Facebook or on Google because you're going to help people decide who to go with. But um, the reason I'm bringing this up is one of the reviews I read was just, I was like, wow, that's great. So this came from somebody, um, Riff Medics is four years old, and this review came three years ago. Troy was able to come out and assess the situation properly. He gave us a couple options to choose from. He quickly fixed the problem, and I highly recommend him. Here's another one. This was two years ago. So, um, Troy is a pleasure to work with. He promptly returns phone calls and takes time to answer all of my questions. We have an aging roof that we are not ready to replace yet. Troy made time in his schedule with when some problems were needing urgent repair. He also helped us prioritize repairs and give us some options so that we could work within our budget. So just over and over again, I mean, there are a whole bunch of reviews that mention the options. Another one, during an on-site visit, he stated that he could repair the issue, but being the honest person he was, he gave us our options, one of them being an entire roof replacement. So yeah, giving people options again and again is just another here. Troy has taken the time to sit down and give us options versus a straight quote. So I think the biggest part with a five-point inspection is just knowing that we're going to you know, not us, not Charity and I personally, but um, the company is going to take a look at these aspects of your roof and they're going to give you options of, oh, hey, the roofing membrane in this one area isn't good. And instead of being like, oh, the roofing membrane is awful, they're going to be like, hey, it's in this one area. Maybe as an option, we can fix just that little patch instead of having to do a re a entire re-roofing job. So really, I like the five point inspection is a very, very powerful tool, not for roof medics as a company, but actually for the customers, because really, if we're being honest, as a roofing company, 
the most powerful thing is to be able to get a job that costs a ton of money. Well, well, everyone has thousands of dollars to do a whole roof replacement either. So the five point inspection offers options to not have to just redo your whole roof. Well, yeah, it's a it's a way to take power from the company and give it to the customers. Um, the more options that you have in life, the more power you have because you get to decide. Um, and instead of the company coming in and being like, hey, this is the only way to fix this problem, um, ultimately, Riffmetics has decided to give that power over to the customer of like, hey, this is the problem. These are the ways that it can be fixed. And now you get to be in control out of or you get to be control over how much money is being spent, how the work is being done, who's doing the work. I mean, it really, it really is powerful. Um, that's, I mean, that's all I can really say about it. And I highly recommend if you are interested in learning more, definitely check out the blog post and the YouTube video and the detailed report on our website or on the Rifmetics website that will just like show you very blatantly, like this is what you're getting. And the best part is that it literally costs you nothing. Like, you don't have to give us $100, $200 to come look at your roof. It it just happens. It's free information. So if we were to come up with our definition of the five-point inspection, uh, what would it be? A yearly roof physical. (laughs) (laughs) Well, well, no, I'm a little nervous about that definition because, again, we'll get into what maintenance is, which is more of the, like, yearly or bi-yearly checkup. I think if we're just to do the, like, free one-time five-point inspection, maybe that's what we should come up with a definition for. Um, An in-depth inspection that checks the five aspects of a roofing system. Mm, I feel like that's a little too vague because it uses the word inspection. And I mean, it is a five-point inspection. Well, it is. I, I know, I know. A- oh, are you one of those people that you cannot use one of the words within the definition? I try really hard not to because... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Pull up in a dictionary. There are times in a dictionary. I know, and it upsets me. Sometimes I don't want a word for it, though. And it is an inspection, and most people know what an inspection is. The five-point part is what the important part where it's like, we're looking over five very specific aspects of a roofing system. Yeah, so an in-depth look at five important aspects of a roofing system. So I think that brings us to the end of this episode on the five-point inspection. We hope that it helped maybe clear up or just explain um, what what a five-point inspection is. And uh, always, if you have questions, you can email it, uh, email us at marketing at roofmedics.com or message us on any of our social media sites. We have Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube. You can message us on any of those and we will happily respond to any of your questions. Yeah. And in the future, um, I know we didn't go into that of like, what is a wall flashing? What is curb flat like any of them really we didn't explain what any of the points of the inspection are but that is what future episodes will include we will go in depth i know we have it planned to talk about the different types of flashings here in the future so stay tuned for that and we will see you next time that brings us to the end of today's episode if you've been loving what you're hearing make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified anytime we post a new episode episodes come out on monday and fridays please feel free to share this podcast with a friend we'd love everybody to be able to join us and learn more about the roofing industry as we go along on this journey if you don't already Follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. I will put all of our information down in the show notes below. Feel free to contact us with any questions or any any riffing ideas that you would love for us to talk about. I hope you have a great day and we will see you next time.